When I wake up in the morning and I'm in the center and then I'm gonna lift some weights. Then I go to the store and get something to eat. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna beast her cheeks. It's alright, cause it's Baba Tuesday. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo! What's up? It's your host, Baba Tuesday. It is June 21st, 2016. Like I said, I am your host. Before I get started, I'd like to thank uh, my provider, my creator. Thank you for waking me up today. Thank you for, um, um, let me hit rock bottom and find my way finding my way back up you know it was a lifelong lesson and uh it was a blessing so um let's see what's on the radio hold up so to make your life less stressful you could do a couple of things that i do um if i wake up i hardly ever wake up now like in a bad mood but if i do wake up in a bad mood or whatnot um I say 10 things that I'm grateful for. You know, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for waking up, to having all my limbs, to actually not having a child right now, to having a dependable car to take me all around Texas because I'm out in these streets, to um, uh, grateful for having common sense. I'm grateful to have, you know, a strong um, family support system. Um, yeah, so it, I say about 10 things. I used to post it up on my Facebook. Hold up. I used to post it up on my Facebook, but um, I don't know. Stop doing that. I guess whenever I'm in the mood to, I do it. But I can tell you this, like some of the... Because I was going through a, a lot of stuff And the stuff that I was posting up was actually for me But there was a lot of people messaging me Saying thank you, you know, whatever I put up there Helped them to get through Whatever they went through Which in reality I was just You know, posting stuff up um, For myself You know, just to remind me um, I am who I am and I'm going to stay Who I'm going to be uh, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying like I want to evolve into a I'm involved uh, I'm just saying like I try to do the best that I can but at the same time I'm human and I try not to take shortcuts um, and I uh, I deal with what the I deal with the cards that are given to me that are dealt with me you know getting I'm leaning out though Six weeks from now, totally different. Um, really, uh, let's see what I did today. I, I hit chest today, um, but tomorrow I got shoulders, and then I got legs again on Thursday. Friday is uh, back. Saturday is arms. Yeah. So it's legs, chest, shoulders, legs, back, arms. This diet is all listen. So this is what I man God the ride this, this is the power of love. This is back to the future. So if you don't know um if you don't know I'm on a, a new diet uh uh that was given to me by Jonathan Irizari and at my last meal is a fucking treat. Do you understand what I'm saying? I said my last meal is a, is a treat. So basically, I get tw uh, 200 uh, grams of uh, low-fat cottage cheese, right? I usually go with like 100, uh, 150 grams, right? Then a scoop 
of uh, protein powder. It's way isolate, but I'm using muscle fun right now. Uh, and then 16 grams of peanut butter. So what I did was I put it all together, and trust me, you like cottage cheese and you, you mix all this, trust me, you get cottage cheese and you put protein powder in it, it's gonna taste like a protein powder. It's gonna taste like uh, some kind of um, pudding, right? But I mixed it up with that uh, peanut butter. I mixed it up for about a good minute. I was whipping in the kitchen, whip, 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 whip whipping in the kitchen, and then, um, and then I put it in, I taste it, I was like, okay. Put it in the freezer for about good set, no, what was it, about seven to eight minutes, put it in the freezer, took it out, and it was, oh, science. Um, I'll put it uh, in the freezer, about seven minutes, took it back out. Yo, it was the, um, I get to eat that every night. Are you telling me I get to eat that every night and I'm going to get I'm going to get ripped? God damn, you gotta love flexible diets, man. Um, so instead of chicken today, I'm using ground beef, lean ground beef. What was it, 93.7 I got or something like that? The highest that I could possibly find, top grade US USD. Um, yeah. So. Um, I'm happy, I'm stoked. Oh, today, check this out. So, I ran out of rice, right? Actually, I ran out of rice, but I had extra rice up in the cupboard. But before I, think, before I could think about anything, I'm supposed to eat with one of my meals, 20 grams, I mean, 200 grams of rice. But I got oatmeal, right? I got oats. I only put 100 grams in there. And then I mixed the oats, like I didn't, he, I, I basically, I got, poured 100 grams of oats in it, put a little bit of water in it just to, so I could get, get it kind of mixed up. I mean, just, just enough because I didn't want it like oatmeal -y, right? But then I put in uh, some garlic salt, some Italian seasoning, and what else? And um, some, what other seasoning? Salt, tan, and I think like pepper. And I was just mixing it up, mixing it up. So I got this like this nice, thick, kind of like putty mix with texture in it, right? And then I got an avocado, chopped it up, put it in there, whole avocado. And then eight, uh, six grams I mean, six ounces of uh, that lean beef, which I cooked the lean beef with uh, a lime, this lime and jalapeno pepper sauce. It's a wing sauce, but I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just drizzle it on there. A little bit of garlic salt, just a little bit. I, I know I'm not watching my sodium levels yet, but just a little bit, and of course, some pepper. I baked it in the oven, then I, uh, chop it up uh, to make like that real ground beef because whenever you bake beef in the oven it kind of it tends to come together as one big ass burger patty but chop it back up ground beef so I got that in there um, I'm gonna eat that with a little bit of sriracha and picante sauce and I should be bomb um, yeah so if you run out of rice you gotta use oatmeal but I cooked rice I, I could have waited but I cooked rice but uh, I'm gonna try this oatmeal bit. Um, so yeah, really that's it, you know? Um, I'm grateful. Uh, I'm getting ripped. Uh, my lats are coming in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really satisfied, I got energy. Damn, somebody just pulled up with a black. A midnight blue Ferrari. Yeah. Yikes. Um, but yeah, sometimes, listen, man, give appreciation to people who are helping you out and everything, you know. Just learn how to appreciate and, and, and everything like that. Don't beat yourself over if you fall off the wagon on something. Just get back up on that horse and start riding again, right? Don't quit. At least fucking try. 
right? Get to know yourself. Have those hard conversations with yourself. Hey. That kind of sounds like that XX, uh, the XX uh, beat. Listen, have those, have those hard conversations. Have those hard conversations with yourself, man. Get to know yourself every day. And I was just thinking about something too, relationship-wise, because I posted up a status saying that, like, hey, I'm posted up all these, these uh, innuendo videos. Sometimes they're just twerk videos. Uh, for all the guys who are, have been in a relationship with a with a girl for four years, you know, which is kind of wrong. I was kind of being a troll, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, it's okay for like dudes to like look at, but don't look, don't touch. That's what I'm saying. But it's all up to them. They don't have to go to my page. But listen, I was thinking about this: when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're not only in a relationship with that person; you're in a relationship with yourself. So you got to be true to yourself. So if you're going to step out and I don't know if I could like have a chick and then have a side chick without my chick knowing if, if that's a, if that's what I want to do. I'm just like that. But uh, I believe that if you do something like that, that's it's up to you to tell them or whatnot, man. Or you just get a girl that's down for the cost. Or a guy, whatever you prefer. But you don't just date a person. You don't just date your partner in a relationship. You date yourself. Remember that. So, learn yourself. Know your self worth. That doesn't necessarily mean money. And most of, most of all, teach people how to treat you. Sometimes you might have to reteach people how to treat you, but teach people how to treat you. All right. With that said, I'm going to say this. Learn as much as you can. Become your own guru. Because nobody knows your body better than you do. I made that up. That's for you guys. You guys take care, be nice, help somebody in need, especially when you're going through your own personal shit. It'll help you out at the end. Peace.